All right, good evening, air gunners. Uh, this is my Hatson Flash 25 Cal. Uh, this video will be a spring hammer adjustment and removal. Yeah, and removal. Sorry. Uh, just going to go over everything here. I've already done disassembly and uh, just trying to make this a little shorter on the video. Uh, this is the end of the hammer spring. This is the nut that goes in there. There's a set screw right here that you have to take off before you can remove this. Uh, very fine threads, just take your time. There's uh, shoot. Let me see if I can... Uh, there we go. Two holes there. Um, these work pretty darn well. Uh, there is a spring and there is a spacer. Uh, the way I adjusted mine and I was doing it real fast, uh, I just threw another spacer in here just to give me more hammer pressure. Uh, but it is adjustable and I will go over that with you right now on how to adjust the hammer pressure. So we'll put those down. I'm just going to take it right off the stand. Okay. What I also did too for the trigger, I'm taking the trigger out. I already took the two pins out. You hold it tight. Uh, there's a detent ball for the safety. Make sure you put a little grease on that before you lift it up out of the way so it doesn't go flying and you don't lose it. There's a spring still in here. I didn't take that out yet. Uh, I'll start by doing that. Let me, here we go. So we'll take out the trigger assembly. Okay. Now, if you didn't want to take the trigger assembly off and you just want to adjust your hammer, it is a four, and I recommend getting some good tools, about four millimeter. Yeah. There we go. Four millimeter. This will go inside here with the spring and everything in there. Counterclockwise will increase the pressure. Clockwise will reduce the pressure. But there's one thing before you do this. There is, I'm gonna try and push it in. It, but there is a set screw that will come right through here. You need to take that set screw out Otherwise, you will strip all the threads and you'll make your life very miserable when you need to order a new part. See, there's a hole right there. Um, this I'm going to also show you. But when this is going to together, you take the stock off. You'll see a set screw here. You need to remove or at least loosen that before you can make your uh, hammer spring adjustments. So as long as I make that clear, otherwise you're going to screw up the threads going in here so don't do that to yourself and uh, don't do that to your gun so loosen or remove the set screw it's very small too it's uh, I think two mil uh, that's what I'm using for a t-handle I believe to get that out okay so and I'm gonna take this apart for you and show you exactly I think this is two and a half this is the cocking arm, needs to come off if you're disassembling the whole thing. Not if you're just adjusting your hammer spring. But I'm doing a whole disassembly, so that comes off of there. I've already had it off because I like making life simple for me, especially when I'm making a video. Now uh, we'll take this, slide it back. Uh, this you'll actually have to push down the lever here but I already did that and this is your hammer spring hammer right here which your spring goes there now I'm gonna hang it back up and here is the set screw and I'll show you why you need to remove or loosen that set screw when adjusting your hammer By going counterclockwise, it pulls this back and puts pressure on the hammer. So, here you go. And that's why you need to remove 
your uh, set screw. Otherwise, you will do damage to these threads and, like I said, you'll ruin your day and gun. Okay, so that's pretty much all there is to it for adjusting hammer spring pressure. Very easy, uh, not much muss and fuss. So counterclockwise, increase the pressure. Clockwise will decrease the pressure. Uh, I have the regulator coming, so that's why I removed I had this as another spacer. It's just an RC bearing. And I instead of adjusting that, I just threw this in there real fast because I wanted to do some testing, but that was with the unregulated gun. So I will fine tune it after I get the regulator in there and uh, I'll go from there. Okay. We'll go back to the gun. Uh, this is on mine. It's not too bad, but it does feel a little gritty, so. I'm going, and there, here's the hammer. I'm just going to buff it up nice. I've used this quite a bit, and this is a refurbished, so. But you'll see a little mark there. But the only thing I had a little concern with is right there. As you can see, where the hook comes for the trigger and that locks onto there. There's just a little, I'm going to buff it out. I got some uh, nice thousand grit, just make everything shiny. Make sure it uh, slides in and out. And I'm definitely cleaning the tube. Uh, Q-tips and some uh, just degreaser. Like I said, mine's a little bit on the crunchy side, so I want to make this a smoother action. And just remember, uh, as you increase the pressure on the spring, it's going to make a difference on your cocking effort also. But if it's smooth, then you should have no issues. Okay, let's see if we can't get the rest of these parts out. I'm just gently sliding them out. And I will show you up close. So when you take yours apart, you can just look back on this video and stop it and pause it and say, okay, that's how it goes. See, this right here hooks on, uh, trying to back up, hooks onto the back there after it slides in. So that little hook goes on here, slides in. So the keyway would be down. As you can see, as we pull this out, this pin goes over here. Now, another tuning issue I might be doing with this is I'm just going to uh, reduce this a little just to try to get a little better flow for air. And uh, I'll clean that up a little bit. I'm going to reduce that size. I'm getting a little greedy with this gun now, but <laughs> it's performing fabulously, so I don't mind doing the extra work. And uh, hopefully it pays off in the end. But, uh, okay. And we'll just take a little look in there. We can flip it upside down. There is another spring there for right here. Just to let you know. So you don't go lifting the gun up and have parts flying out. And just this little spring here. So... Just remember where all your parts go. Um, I usually take pictures as I go along or do a video so I can correctly reinstall all the parts. But hopefully this video helps anyone out and uh, gives you a full detail. Like I said, I pretty much just got to get in there, uh, clean everything up, make sure there's no sharp edges, everything is smooth, and... Uh, then I will re-grease some molly, molly paste I got, and I will reassemble it and have a smoother action. So, all right, hopefully that gives everybody a good idea on the hats and flash, the internals, I mean the trigger. I don't really go over triggers much anymore. There's so many videos out there and it's pretty much common sense. Take pictures before you take it apart so you know where everything goes. 
and uh, do a video and all you're doing is cleaning up any rough spots and polishing.